What's up everybody? Today we're talking about Red Flag Hot Sauce by Black Eyed Susan. Red Flag Hot Sauce by Black Eyed Susan. Yeah, uh, excited to have another sauce from these guys. Um, yeah. We've only reviewed one from them so far. And, and it was amazing. Amazing. So so we decided, uh, you know, in honor of it being Thanksgiving today, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, we do this one because it's got cranberries, and cranberries kind of seems to be our Thanksgiving uh, tradition around here. Cranberry yeah, it hot certainly sauce. does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, should we go ahead and just get into the ingredient list? Speaking of cranberries, yeah. So, uh, the ingredient list on this one, guys, is muscadine grape juice, which I'm not even really sure what muscadine grapes are. I guess it's just a type of grapes. Um, but yeah, muscadine grape juice, red raspberries, red onion, cranberry, apple cider vinegar, Trinidad scorpion pepper mash, dried Trinidad scorpion pepper, salt all spices and hibiscus powder so hibiscus is definitely a weird one i don't think we've yeah. had that before you know, yeah so probably, I don't probably think. not um so you got that that's the the berries and the grapes up there at the top and then a bunch of scorpion pepper in there so it's probably gonna be pretty hot. I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty spicy. Yeah. And this this was on what season twenty four? Yeah. Of hot ones earlier this year. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it was number seven. Yeah. So it should be pretty. Yeah. Met. Pretty fire. Pretty fire. <laughs> so probably. Um. Yeah, I think this one's also won like a Scoby. Oh yeah, Scoby Award. First place in 2022. I'm not sure what category, but yeah. So uh, this one's got some accolades here. So excited to try it out. Well, I'm pretty sure if you can make me like a sauce that has cocoa powder in it, <laughs> you can make me like any sauce that you make. So, uh, all right. Let's see here. And I personally am not a fan of like. Yeah, that smells really good. Not a fan of, of the, of, you know, the traditional cranberry that people serve during Thanksgiving. Yeah. But no, hot sauce, right. like, that fills the cranberry void, you know? Mm, that's like, like, who who eats that canned cranberry? A lot of people. A lot believe of people it or not. Do. A lot yeah. of people. And I think it's disgusting. <laughs> so. Uh, man, it smells... You can definitely smell the, the the berries and the grape. Very good consistency. It's a really, actually, really good smelling sauce. You can smell the apple cider vinegar in there too. Um, and deceivingly enough, you can't really smell scorpions. Yeah. Normally, that scorpions does worry me a little bit. Scorpions always make me hiccup too. So yeah. I'm prepared. Right. But uh, cheers. Cheers. Whoa. Sweet. Hiccups are coming already. Heat. And then kind of smoky. Woo. Yep. Yeah. Woo. See, no. the heat, as much as I got the, the flavor afterwards, the heat hit me right off the bat. Oh, man. Yeah. It took a second for the heat to get to me, but, uh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> yeah. Um, that Every one packs... Time. That one packs a punch for sure. Um, it's and it's kind of all over. It's not just the top of the tongue, not just the lips. It's it's the whole whole thing. I'm gonna have to go in for another. Yeah, just to see if I can get to the other ingredients. Because <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that hit me right off the bat. From what I could tell, there was good flavor there. Yeah. Well, okay. littler, littler bite there. You know, sometimes you just gotta you gotta lube up the esophagus a little bit. 
And then you're like, all right, no. <clears throat> Whew. Yeah, that one's still, it's a linger. Ah, okay. Let's try this again. Okay. <clears throat> it's got really good flavor. But the it flavor has, it has good flavor. The flavor doesn't last for long before the heat kicks in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do think. Oh God, I don't know. I'm, I might almost go eight with this. Yeah, I was doing. It's got some heat for sure. If I was doing a, a tin sauce lineup. I think I might go eight, but yeah. Um, what yeah. I do like about seven it, seven or an eight. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes when you when you throw fruit in there, it gets too fruity. This is not that. This is not that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still there. Yep. I can definitely taste the raspberries, which is also when you don't see in hot sauce very often. That's that's true, yeah. I don't know if I get the grape juice, but maybe it's just because... Maybe it's just because the scorpion is so... Yeah, I mean, I think the... I feel like the, the raspberries kind of stand out, but that you it's all that, that grape, raspberry, cranberry flavor at the beginning. Um, but yeah, Whew. it's, uh, still packing a punch. Yeah. So, um, that yeah. is heavy. That is heavy. So another, another banger though from, uh, Black Eyed <clears throat> Susan. Yeah. Um, so far haven't had a bad sauce from them. Looking forward to trying a few more that we have. I don't know if they're, they're either back here on the tree or I think we got them in the closet, the closet, but, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, she good. They 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 handle it with care. Yeah, and I'll say that much. I, I normally am not the biggest scorpion fan, but this is like a tolerable scorpion. I feel like. Um, yeah. Like I think so too. Like I just don't love the flavor of the scorpion that much, <clears throat> and they did a good job. Like, there's nothing offensive about the flavor of this. It's just. Gets hot. So I would use this sparingly on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> You're not going to uh, baste your turkey with this? <laughs> no. No. But I'll, I mean, I would definitely eat a little bit on some stuffing. Yeah, you for know. sure. Uh, oh, man. Well, um, I don't know. What else you got to add on this one? It's just still lingering. <laughs> it, I mean, sure it definitely is. has it has the the scorpion sting factor going on. Yep, my mouth is watering. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do I do like it. I am impressed. See, even they say like this is seven seven out of ten from them. Or wait, no, that's what. It, yeah, all right. Yeah, I still think this is an eight. Yeah, I'm going eight. They they just on this one say hot, um, at the top of the scale it looks like. But yeah, I think a seven or eight is uh, appropriate. So well, I think it'd be really a really good idea, like in a big Thanksgiving setting, to to put this in a sauce dish with a spoon and say, "I made this delicious cranberry sauce. Feel free to try some <laughs> on your meal." Just to see what happens. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be great. All right. Let me know how that goes over uh, today at your house. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. So. Well, guys, I uh, hope you're having a good Thanksgiving. Um, thanks for checking this one out. And, uh, yeah, thanks again to Black Eyed Susan. Yeah, for big shout out. Making another great sauce. For sure. And, oh, you got anything else to add? No, sir. All righty. Till next time, keep up the heat.